Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. I've got a very exciting product to show you today. Now I've been producing videos on Geekanoids for about 11 years now. It's a long, long time and, and throughout that time I've shared with you my passion and knowledge for technology and gadgets. And also throughout that time I've handled many, many cameras. In fact when I started off this channel I actually used a camera that's sitting up here on my shelf. I started off my YouTube career with this. This is the Canon PowerShot A80 and it still works. I don't think I've got any batteries in it at the moment, but it does still work. Now this was the very first camera I used. This is amazing to be able to show you this. And the reason this is a really good camera is because when I was uh, starting off YouTube, I didn't know that I was going to be doing it 11 years later. And uh, I remember sort of balancing this on various things to do the videos. The very first video I did was in fact an iPod classic case. Uh, it was a Griffin Disco for the iPod, the one with the click wheel. And uh, around the click wheel, the Griffin Disco case added all these sort of disco lights. And I recorded that very video with this camera and I actually had it on a piece of grey cardboard on like a, I think it was on like a chair with this pointing downwards but the reason this was a really good camera and it wasn't bought for video this was our family camera for taking photos uh, and the occasional video as well was look at this and this is from like 11 12 years ago fully articulating screen admittedly it is a small screen a very small screen but this captured the video that I shared for probably about the first half a dozen or so videos on the Geek and Noise channel and it's really awesome it's uh, I think it's four megapixels yet yeah, four megapixels for photos and I can't remember the um, resolution for the video it's probably 640 by 480 uh, the actual audio quality wasn't that bad and the screen even though it was small it was very useful having this flippy screen uh, this is just a great little camera and I'm so glad I kept hold of this because this is what started it all it actually takes and I've got a memory card in here look at this it takes compact flash this cost me a lot of money back in the day this is a thousand and twenty four megabytes or one is it one gigabyte unbelievable unbelievable cost that was probably the largest memory card I could get uh, when I purchased this camera so anyway, before I move on to showing you my new vlogging camera, and it's very um, appropriate showing you this Canon camera, and that will become clear in a short while. Before I do that, let's take a look inside the live chat. I always give a big shout out to the first four in the live chat. So big hello to Pap Sandor Barna, to Darren Bird, to Sharad, and Gritty Shaker. Hello to all of you. Thank you very much for being the first four in the live chat. And thank you to all of you for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to see what my new vlogging camera is. And it is a pimped out vlogging camera. So do stay tuned. Uh, also, just to let you know, if you're new to the Geek and Noise channel, we have got the live chat going. This is a live broadcast. If you want to leave me a, a message or a question, then please do. There's also the super chat there. So if you want to help support the channel and have your question or comment highlighted, hit that dollar symbol and use the super chat. And also, if you're watching this video after the live event, then please do leave me some comments. I answer as many as I can. So I will come back to some questions in a short while. So before I do that, let's move on to show you and this is a Canon PowerShot uh, A40, and oh sorry, A80, and this is why it's important that this is a Canon camera. So I've used lots of different manufacturers' cameras, and in fact I still do. This is a Sony camera, I'm recording this on. I also use Panasonic GH5 for recording videos as well. But for vlogging, this is my new vlogging camera, and this is the Canon EOS M6. So this is an EOS M6, you can get it either with like a gunmetal black grey colour, like a darker colour on the top, or this silver colour. Uh, it's got an articulating screen, so this screen flips up like so, so you can have it forwards facing. So when you're vlogging, you can hold it out like this and actually uh, see yourself in the screen. It is a touch screen as well. 
Now the reason I went for this one is it's nice and compact. It offers up uh, a really good autofocus. It's called Dual Pixel Autofocus and it's one of the best available on mirrorless and DSLR cameras. Uh, Canon have done a fantastic job with Dual Pixel AF. The only thing they haven't done and it's not a deal breaker, in my opinion, is they haven't given us 4K video recording capability in these smaller cameras yet, uh, or indeed in many of their DSLRs, unless you go to the really high-end range. I don't think that's a deal breaker. 4K isn't everything. It's nice being able to capture in 4K or UHD resolution. Of course it is. All of my videos that aren't live broadcasts are more often than not in that higher resolution. But 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is what this tops out at, is more than good enough. It's very, very good indeed. And the reason I went back to Canon for my vlogging camera is I love the Canon color science. The colors this produces for video is absolutely amazing. Now, I have also pimped this out. I'm going to talk to you about the lens in a short while. Before I do so, I want to say a big, big thank you to our first super chat of the broadcast. Uh, for the love of tech 2 has made a really nice super chat thank you very much no question but if you want to leave a comment or question then please do and i'll answer if i can i really do appreciate your support for the love of tech 2 thank you very very much so let's move back to the canon eos m6 the lens on here is the canon efm 11 to 22 millimeter lens uh, that gives it a nice wide angle so we've got a 1.6 crop factor on here so it's roughly about a 16 17 millimeter wide angle view uh, to release the lens let's take the lens cap off we turn it by whilst pushing this little button uh, or it's a little slider and we do that and then the lens actually clicks into place so this is at 11 millimeters and then it doesn't get any longer really at the 22 millimeters so it's not a big sort of zoom range but the 11 millimeters with that crop factor is ideal for vlogging it means that even just holding it without any external sort of tripod attached or anything it's a really good wide angle lens and then when you're not using the camera you can pop it back into this sort of closed position it locks into place so let's pop that lens cap back on and uh, we've also got full manual controls 24 megapixel sensor so it's really good for photography as well battery goes in the bottom and it uses a standard size sd card but what it's all about is this flippy screen now there is a couple of other canon eos m's or i think probably about three or four including the new m100 which is really cheap but what sets the m6 apart is underneath this flap here we have got hdmi but also we have got a three and a half millimeter microphone input which is really important for a vlogging camera i think it transforms the audio of course you can put little wind muffs over the built-in microphones which still do a good job but if you're going to use this seriously especially outdoors then being able to attach an external microphone is really good now there is an issue with this normally you would put an external microphone on the hot shoe up here this is where my slight modifications came in so I didn't want to put a microphone up here because that would block the screen. If you've got this screen in this position here and then you put a microphone on like this, it's going to get in the way of the screen so you can't see yourself. One of the previous iterations of this particular camera had the screen coming down underneath. But then that was a problem because you couldn't put a tripod on it. So it was okay for a microphone but not for a tripod. But there is a workaround to this. Now before I attach the microphone, I'm just going to put it onto a tripod. So this is a Manfrotto uh, Pixie Evo. It's a two-section tripod. Let me give you a closer look at this. So we've got the normal sort of legs. This is what it is when it's in this sort of format. We can actually push this lever around so the legs go even lower. Or we can push this lever around so that they only go out this far. They also extend. So each of these legs extends. And you've also got this control here. So we can turn this and then we can move the ball head around to different positions. Little turny thing just here for attaching it to your camera. And then we can in fact attach it. Now you don't need to do this. I like having my vlogging cameras on a little tripod of some sort. And I think this works equally as well as a Joby Gorillapod. Of course you can't 
sort of manhandle it and and sort of bend it around objects but it's really good for holding the camera out like this i can easily put it onto a table or a desk if i want to do a quick sort of a, a sort of shot of something maybe on a table or maybe a group shot uh, and then i can pick it up again and use it outstretched and i can adjust the ball head so it's a little bit pointing down a little bit more now what i've used here is a couple of things to achieve the external microphone. This is a Rode Video Micro. Now, all of these bits that I'm showing you are linked to down in the video description. So do check out down below. There are links to all of these products. The Canon EOS M6, the 11 to 22 millimeter lens, the Manfrotto Pixie Evo two section tripod, the Rode Video Micro. Now, disclaimer, Rode is a channel sponsor, but if a microphone wasn't good or a product wasn't good i would let you know but i love the rode video micro it's really good and what i've done to this let me just show you the microphone first of all so this is a tiny little mic it normally comes with a big sort of fluffy uh, uh windshield on it uh, but i've taken that off and i've put this little foam one on but this foam one i purchased uh, doesn't fit properly so i had to cut it now i have linked below to a longer bigger foam windshield and you will have to cut that windshield down if you buy it from my link underneath and what i've put on here is a rubber band around here and then i've put this little attachment it's like a cable tie with a flat 3m adhesive mount on it again these are linked to down in the video description and then on that i've actually attached some 3m dual lock it's hook and loop hook and loop tape so it's called 3m scotch dual lock and the reason i went for this one is i tried velcro initially so velcro is a hook and loop tape but it didn't hold the microphone in a good position it was still very sort of loose so i actually purchased this this is called 3m dual lock and it's got a different sort of um, pattern to it the waves go one way on here they go the opposite way on the camera and what this does, so I'll show you, I've attached a little square of this to the Canon camera just here. So you can still open this. That's important that you can still open this uh, flap like so. So that's really important. And then you put it on and then it clips into place. It's quite tough to do. Let me just do that again. So we just attach it like so, and you, you heard it, it just sort of goes click, and then that is it, that is firm on the camera. Now, on the back of the Rode Video Micro, there is a three and a half millimeter audio jack, let me just show you that. Three and a half millimeter audio jack on the back of the camera here. Now, the Rode Video Micro does come with a little red cable, it's like one of those stretchy cables with a three and a half millimeter audio connector on both ends, but it was a little bit too long. So I got hold of this one. Uh, this one is called, I can't remember the exact model number. Let me just tell you the model number. This is the uh, Philo L17. Again, link down in the video description. And what this allows you to do is just uh, attach it to the back of the microphone, like so. And then you can then attach this to the three and a half millimeter audio jack on the side of the camera and it's a nice short loop so you haven't got any excess cable it's a very high quality cable and it works extremely well so now what we've got is a really good vlogging setup with that front facing uh, screen so i can see what i'm doing and an external microphone and a really nice tripod which i can adjust let me just show you this adjusted a little bit so i can sort of bring this into more of an angle if I wanted an even wider angle, I can even extend these legs out like so. And then I've got a really good vlogging solution. So I can get really wide angle. I can get probably about four or five people in the shot with me using a setup like this. And all oh, the reason that these rubber bands are here are just to give some sort of a suspension mount uh, and also to give this um, cable tie something to grip onto so really really important that you use a rubber band as well so any rubber band to do just loop it around the microphone a few times and it works extremely well this is what i've been using in the last few of my videos that you've seen on the channel where i'm giving you a behind the scenes 
It's really very, very good indeed and very versatile. So really good setup, as you can see there. And of course, if you remove the microphone, the flap still closes and I think it just works extremely well. So anyway, that is it. That is the Canon EOS M6. Let's just pop that down on the desk. And then we'll have a look in the live chat and see if you've got any questions or comments. I just thought it was quite ironic that, uh, or not ironic, neat. I thought it was cool that I've gone back to using the Canon EOS M6 and the camera that started it all. Canon, if you're watching this, thank you very much for producing this Canon PowerShot A80. That's what started it all. The Canon EOS M6 is what I'm using now for my daily sort of behind the scenes videos. And it's all about the Canon color science and the colors that are produced in the video and that awesome dual pixel autofocus. So anyway, let's have a look in the um, chat and see what we've got. We have got a question. I'm going to take this one first because this was from For the Love of Tech 2, who did that super chat earlier. Uh, been busy fitting a BlackBerry playbook into my car dash and using it as a multimedia center. Ever tried anything like this? Uh, trying to work out the best way to power it. Uh, I haven't tried it. I have considered it. And what I would suggest is going to your local car sort of shop, like car spare shop, somewhere like Halfords, for example. See if they can actually wire in a live feed from the battery to power that. Unless, of course, you've got something like a USB um, socket inside your car. If you didn't want to go to the expense of actually having something hardwired in, then you could always use a 12 volt vehicle accessory adapter that gives you a couple of USB ports or a single USB port, and then you can power the BlackBerry playbook from there. But that's a really cool idea. Love the idea of that, as long as you don't watch videos whilst driving. But yeah, great for a media sort of entertainment center. I would even go sort of a couple of steps further and put a couple in the back of the car as well for your passengers. That'd be really cool. Very, very cool idea indeed. If you do get that working, share with me either a video or, of course, some photos on Twitter by tweeting at Geekanoids. Uh, Raymond Moore, why not get the Canon SL2, Dave? It has the same specification and the screen is not blocked when putting the microphone on the top. Well, I, I did a review already on the Canon SL2. Great little camera. Uh, in the UK, we call it the 200D, I think it is. Um, or is that another model? But anyway, I've, I've done a review on it, and it's great. It is a great camera, more or less the same specifications as this. Not as compact. I didn't feel it was quite as well built either, but it is a great option, but just a little bit more cumbersome than something like this. And I really like the 11 to 22 millimeter lens on this as well. So that was probably the reason I went that way. Uh, Jazz Shampoo saying Canon is uh, nice quality. We still have quality products on the market. Uh, when so much is rubbish, you still get what you pay for with Canon, yet you do get really good quality. And I really love the colours, that's what comes back to for me with the video colours. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Gritty Shaker saying, nice setup, thank you very, very much. We've also got Mquan. Mquan, it's the first time I've seen you tune in to one of the live broadcasts, unless you just sat there quietly. Really good of you, my friend, to tune in. I've known you for a long, long time. Loving what you're doing on your channel as well. Uh, and just welcome. Thanks for tuning in. What do you think? Let me know what you think of this. Look at that. External microphone, Canon EOS M6. Let me know, uh, Mquan, in the uh, live chat what you think of this new uh, vlogging setup. I think it works extremely well. Something else just to note is the the deal i think is still on now i've left a link to where you can actually buy one of these canon eos m6s uh, in the video description and i'm pretty sure in the uk there is still a 50 pound cashback deal uh, so you can get 50 pound cashback if you purchase before i think it ends on the 21st of jan don't quote me on that check before you buy but there was or still possibly is a canon cashback deal on that as well and I got this when there was an extra 50 pound off so I got a hundred pound off of this 
So really, really good pricing on these Canon EOS cameras. Uh, the M100 that I mentioned earlier is even cheaper and it's more or less the same specification as this. It will produce more or less, I think probably identical video quality. The only difference is it hasn't got that external microphone input. So if you can live without putting the microphone on the outside and live with the internal mics, then the Canon EOS M100 could be an even cheaper entry point for you. We have also got um, Jimmy saying, "Yes, real camera. I told you you'll go. Uh, to told you we're going to use a smartphone camera, and it's Yash saying nice camera as well. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got Deepak Murthy. Hi Dave. Smartphone cameras still can't reach a real camera in photo and video quality. I tend to agree. Smartphones are getting very very close." Uh, but still not quite there in how the end product looks. Still not quite the detail, still not quite the dynamic range and the versatility as well. Being able to add good audio, decent lens. You can't get this sort of optics on a smartphone. They're getting very close though. So maybe a few more years and we'll see more people using their smartphones for vlogging. Many are already. Many, many people are doing that. Uh, we've also got M Kwan saying, love the streams. Looks like an impressive piece of kit. Thank you very much to you. Uh, and also Raymond Moore, how is the battery life? Well, the battery life on this has been really good. I've recorded, uh, think about three or four days of videos with this, and I'm still on the first charge. And that's probably about 30 minutes. So it's a 30 minutes each day, so about two hours of video footage and still it, the battery is going strong. Uh, I also got asked earlier on, I've, I've, I've missed who asked, but somebody says, am I going to do uh, the a, a video test with this? If you check out a few of my videos from just recently, I'll tell you what they're called. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you check out my Gosha and Burberry video, and also my um, new vlogging camera video, and also my Geek Channel update video for January 2018. Those three videos feature video footage and audio with this particular setup. So do check those out. Uh, we've also got um, Techzilla saying, I just changed over to using a Canon camera instead of my phone. Great choice. Very, very good choice. And Neil Clark asking, does the M6 have a clean HDMI out? I'm not sure. I think I did some research on this prior to actually making the purchase and as far as I could tell it doesn't have a clean HDMI out. I think you do get some of the menu overlays. I think though that there is some sort of workaround. Uh, so I think if you set it actually recording and then uh, sort of cycle around the display so you've got minimal icons on the screen then it sort of gets around that issue. But I don't think, and don't quote me on that, I just don't think it does have a uh, clean HDMI out. Hello to Frederick, all the way from Austria. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, Deepak Murphy, does it film in 4K? If it does, what FPS? It doesn't film in 4K. I covered this dur during the start of this particular broadcast. Uh, I don't think 4K is the be-all and end-all. I don't think it's a necessity for vlogging. Uh, for certain types of footage, I think it's a good idea to have 4K. It allows you to crop in. But for something like this, where I'm going to be taking this pretty much everywhere I go, a nice compact package, uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is what this tops out at, is more than good enough for that sort of content. Uh, it's much, much easier to also edit when you're on the go. If you're editing on a laptop, yes, I know laptops can handle 4K video editing, but 1080p, the video uh, file size is much more manageable, and I think it's more than enough for that type of footage. So let's take one more question, then I'm going to wrap this up. We have got the last question coming in from Raymond Moore. Does it have superior video quality compared to the one inch sensor on Canon? Uh, no, it doesn't have superior video quality. What you might notice though is a little bit better low light performance because this has got an APS-C size sensor and you'll also maybe able to achieve a little bit better depth of field to sort of blurred backgrounds than with the one inch sensor. But there is not a lot in it. Uh, very little indeed in it. I don't think if you put the two side by side, certain scenes you might be able to tell 
uh, but to the untrained eye you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference so anyway that is it for my new vlogging camera video i hope you understand why i went for the canon eos m6 and i hope you enjoyed learning about how i added this microphone to the side so that i can still utilize the flip up screen i've left links to everything i've shown you in this video down in the video description area so please do check them out if you've got any questions or comments please do drop them below thank you very much for watching as well i hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next one.